What's up guys, in this episode, I'm gonna go over the new 40th anniversary Boss Super Overdrive pedal. Stay tuned. What is up you guys, it's your boy Luis Torres and huge shout out to my man Paul, the guitarist in Cropsey out in Staten Island. So guys, in this episode, I am going over the new Boss Super Overdrive SD-1 uh, and here's the one minor issue. Even though this is the new 40th anniversary, it is literally exactly like the old 40 year old SD-1. The main difference is that it's not yellow and ha <laughs> ha. And if you guys own this pedal, then you know how incredible this pedal is. It's just, you know, you'll never find a pedal that's better uh, when it comes down to having the best bank for your buck. This pedal I bought, I think it was $45 with free shipping. This thing is an absolute sleeper. Uh, huge shout out to my boy, Chad out in Michigan. He was just like, bro, how do you not have an SD-1? Um, and, you know, he was always on top of me and getting one. And I was just like, ah, it's a super overdrive. Um, not that I was poking fun, but I was just like, ah, how good could it be if it's just under 50 bucks? Um, then, oh man, in one month time frame, I must have had at least 20 guys who were just like, bro, how do you not have an SD-1? So I was like, uh, okay, I'm going to clearly uh, get an SD-1 now. Got it and was floored so if you don't own this pedal you definitely should if you own it then i don't you know, there's nothing new that i'm telling you you already know how great this is so of course they came out with the new 40th anniversary uh and the one issue i always had with this one is i always wondered why for it being such a great pedal didn't they make a blacked out version uh or at the very least have it as an option nope it's always been a little bumblebee of a, of a pedal and that's fine and dandy, but I never, I was never fond of it in yellow. Then when I noticed that they were coming out with the same model in black, I of course had to jump right on it. So if you've never heard this pedal before, then shame on you. You definitely should have, you should probably watch a bunch of videos now because you're going to hear how amazing it is. So make sure you type in Boss Super Overdrive Metal, because if not, you're gonna have every, you know, every boomer playing Rolling Stones with that pedal and it does great with it, but you know, we're metal guys, right? So type in metal and everything that's metal related will come up. Um, so I'm gonna be running this pedal. It's literally drive at zero, tone at two o'clock level maxed out. And I am using, my Cherryatone Yeti 50 watt, uh, and that's it. So you're going to hear how that sounds like right now. Okay guys, so in this episode, I'm using my 1991 ESP Horizon Custom neck through body. If you guys remember seeing this on Reverb, yes, this is that same ESP Horizon. Uh, with my dark wrench pickup in here from Voodoo Custom Pickups in Rhode Island. Rich, what's up, what's up? Tell Danielle I said, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Let's have at it. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the pedal off and then activate it. <laughs> Thank you. 
So what I'm saying is, if you're going to get yourself a Boss uh, Super Overdrive SD1, first, you're going to absolutely love it. Second of all, get the 40th anniversary. It's going to look silly with a yellow one on your pedal board. And if you already have a yellow one, like I have had for months and months on end, upgrade it to this one. I just think this one just looks better. Uh, and it's just a personal preference. You know, of course I have the two, I will keep both. And, um, and that's what it is. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button right now, jerk face. And thank you so much for watching as usual. I will talk to you soon.